Ever wondered why the rich keep getting richer, even when tax season arrives? They might be using the same tax forms, but they're not playing the same game. Picture this. A man once tried to write off his pet goldfish as a business expense because, allegedly, it was a stress buster in his home office. Quite the fishy story, right? Well, while that's not quite the tax secret of the wealthy, there are indeed clever strategies they use. So buckle up, folks. We're about to reveal the top 10 tax secrets of the rich in reverse order. And remember, if you enjoy the ride, don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. At number 10, we have the home office. Yes, your little corner can save you big bucks. Let's talk about the home office deduction. You see, the IRS lets you deduct expenses related to your home office. This includes the space itself, utilities, and even some home repairs. It's like your house is working for you, isn't it? Just make sure the space is exclusively used for business. So remember folks, every square foot counts. Coming in at number nine, the magic of retirement accounts. Because who doesn't want to retire in style? Imagine this, each dollar you contribute to a retirement account is a dollar less that's subject to income tax. It's like a magic trick where your taxable income disappears and reappears in your future. And guess what? The more you contribute, the less tax you pay now. So why not make the most of this magical opportunity? Retirement might not be as far off as you think. At number eight, we have the charitable deduction. Giving back never felt so good. The beauty of charitable donations is twofold. Firstly, it's an opportunity to contribute to causes you care about, making a difference in the world. Secondly, it can help lessen your tax burden. By reducing your taxable income, you're essentially getting a discount on your good deeds. So when you're planning your financial year, consider giving to charity. You'll be doing good and feeling good. Remember, generosity pays off in more ways than one. At number seven, we have the magic of depreciation. It's not just for old cars anymore. Imagine you have an investment property. Over time, you can depreciate the value of that property on your taxes, reducing your taxable income. This means the more your property depreciates, the less you pay in taxes. It's a win-win situation. So next time you think about selling that old property, remember, it might just be your golden goose. Coming in at number six, the tax-free loan. Yes, you heard that right. Picture this, you need some cash, but instead of heading to a bank, you turn to your own life insurance or 401k. By borrowing against these, you can often access funds without triggering a tax bill. It's like dipping into your own personal piggy bank without the tax man getting a look in. Ingenious, right? So remember folks, sometimes it pays to borrow from yourself. At number five, we have the health savings account. Who knew that staying healthy could be so profitable? Contributing to a health savings account or HSA is like a secret weapon against taxable income. Think about it as a two for one deal. You're setting money aside for future medical expenses and reducing your taxable income at the same time. It's a win-win situation. So remember folks, it's not just an apple a day that keeps the tax man away. Coming in at number four, the capital gains bypass. Who needs roads when you have shortcuts? Now, let's talk about long-term investments. When you hold on to investments for over a year, it's considered long-term. The beauty of this, your capital gains taxes can significantly reduce, sometimes even disappear. It's like making a detour around tax city. So think twice before you sell off those stocks prematurely. Remember, patience is a virtue, especially when it comes to taxes. At number three, we have the family loan, because family isn't just for holiday gatherings. Here's the thing, lending money to your kin can be a clever, tax-efficient method of transferring wealth. You heard that right? By offering loans at minimal interest rates, you can essentially pass on assets without the tax man getting a slice. It's a win-win situation. The borrower gets a low-cost loan and the lender can move funds without incurring gift taxes. Remember, when it comes to taxes, it's all in the family. Coming in hot at number two, the business deduction. Who knew that lunch could be so profitable? It's true, business owners get a tasty perk. They can write off legitimate expenses, like that client lunch, office supplies, or even a business trip. These deductions reduce their taxable income, meaning less of their hard-earned money goes to Uncle Sam. It's a clever trick, isn't it? So, when you're running your own business, every penny counts. So remember folks, it's not just about making money, it's about keeping it too. And finally, at number one, we have the tax-free inheritance, because the best things in life are free. Here's a little secret, the stepped-up basis rule. This rule allows heirs to sell inherited assets at a higher stepped-up value, eliminating capital gains tax. 
Imagine receiving an asset, selling it immediately, and not owing a penny in taxes. It's like a magic trick, but for your wallet. So remember folks, sometimes it pays to wait. And there you have it folks. The top 10 tax secrets of the rich revealed. From turning their homes into offices, to magically depreciating assets faster than a rabbit can disappear in a hat. They've mastered the art of the tax-free loan, made retirement accounts their secret weapon, and even found a way to make their family and health savings account part of their financial wizardry. And if that wasn't enough, they figured out how to bypass capital gains and inherit tax-free. Remember, it's not what you make, it's what you keep. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, happy tax saving.